Sam, how's this week been for you? Getting ready for Saturday, senior day, just kind of taking in Happy Valley. Uh, I mean, this week is kind of just like every other week with the energy. The energy's high, as always, so I'm just enjoying each practice. Is there a strangeness to the whole senior week? I'm sure when you look at it as a freshman, you thought you would be a certain way. Now everybody's like, got extra eligibility from COVID. Does it make it a strange week because there's open-endedness? Uh, I don't think, I wouldn't say it's a strange week. I mean, with the extra year for me personally, I'm going to wait till after the season to talk about it with Coach. So I don't think it's, it's typically strange. I mean, we just, we're just taking it day by day. Caleb, how do you feel the week's um, kind of progressing this season, you know, catching passes in the last two games? How do you think he's coming along? Well, I think he's coming on great. I mean, Malik has so much talent. Like, the potential is always there, and I think with more practice and more reps in the game, I mean, he's going to be something special. What's it like to play with Javon? Do you have any moments where you're still kind of surprised by what he does? Yeah, I mean, sometimes in the game he has like a crazy catch. I mean, Jahan's gonna be Jahan. I mean, I'm sure if you ask anybody that's played with him, he's gonna he's gonna wow you at some point. So, I mean, it, it'll be like he'll do like a one-handed catch or just dunk on somebody. It'll be it's just Jahan being Jahan. Can't remember the, like, the first time you saw Jahan Oh, it was like freshman year, like way back when he was a freshman. He had like this one-handed catch of one-on-ones, and I was like, this guy's going to be like that. Kim, James just told us that uh, right, right now Christian Veyu is the number two quarterback for this offense. What have you seen from him during the season on the practice field to put himself in that spot? Uh, I mean, Christian's arm talent is, is elite. He can throw the ball deep. So that's, that's probably the one thing that I see with Christian that I like a lot. He can launch the ball. Cam, you've been with a few offensive coordinators now at this point, you know, kind of having a full year of Mike, uh, I guess, under your belt. What's the most unique thing about him and how he runs his offense? Uh, I'd probably say the most unique thing about Mike is probably just, he just loves the game, for real. Like, as a coordinator, you, you want to see that in the coach. I mean, he's just extremely passionate. That's what I like most about him. Is that passion something that was maybe missing over the last few years? No, not at all. But just with Mike, I mean, he's just a fiery coach, and I like that. Cam, what's it like going up against Jaquan in practice? What kind of threat or what kind of problems does he pose on the defensive side? I mean, Jaha I mean, Jaquan. Uh, he has great ball skills. So when you go against him in one-on-ones, you know it's going to be a battle when the ball in the air. That's probably one of the most special things he has about him. If these are the last couple of college games in Sean Clifford's career, you guys came in as freshmen. How do you think he should be remembered uh, in terms of Penn State football legacy? Uh, I would say as a great leader, a great quarterback, and just a competitor. So will you go out there for senior day and then make your decision later, or how are you going to deal with it? Because we yeah. saw some guys deal with it last year. Yeah, I'm going to walk, but then after the season, I'm going to sit down with my parents and coach and decide what's best for me. And you think it would be emotional at all going out there? I mean, maybe. I mean, every every game of Beaver is emotional for me. I mean, with the fans and, and the crowd and the atmosphere. So, I mean, we'll see. Where are you physically? James has said that you were slowed a little bit early in your career by uh, different injuries. Where are you physically this year? I'm good, 100%. Has morale been affected at all now that the Big Ten Championship and some of the college football playoff stuff has been like eliminated? And how do you guys stay focused and driven on the whole one and well, each week, each week is the same week. It's one enough, so the morale has never been affected. We just focus on winning this week. Oh, I mean, we're we're always going to be family. Like, I mean, Coach Franklin always preaches the family atmosphere, and that's true. We always going to be brothers. Respect Brisker? Yeah. He's a leader. I mean, when, when he speaks, everybody listens for sure. I mean, he's proved it on the field and he's proved it off the field. So, I mean, he's he's the leader of our team. His path to get to the point he is now with senior day coming up, you know, hasn't been easy, obviously, with passing of his late brother as well as going to Lackawanna College. What does that kind of say about him and his character? I mean, just perseverance. I mean, he's laser focused on his goal, and that, that just speaks a lot to the whole team. Everybody can relate to that. Cam, can you give us kind of an updated scouting report on, on Liam Clifford and Harrison Wallace and what they've shown you, where you think individually each are standing out right now? Uh, individually, uh, Liam's more quick, shifty in the slot. I like his route running a lot. And then Trey, I mean, he can jump. He can go get the ball. That's probably both that separates them.
what do you view your role off the team as in, in the receiving room? As a, as a veteran and a guy who is on the field, but like in the grand scheme, how do you view your role on the team? Uh, as one of the leaders, as a vet, I mean, I have a lot of experience. So for the young guys like Trey and Liam, they can lean on me for just just little tips and tricks, I mean, and just be a vocal leader and just lead by example for the team and for my group.